Welcome to a VMware Cloud on AWS feature demonstration. In this video, we will test the vMotion capability in VMware Cloud on AWS during the execution of an SAP batch workload running on a two-tier S4 HANA deployment. As SAP has not certified the applications on VMware Cloud on AWS, any SAP deployments in this environment should be for non-production use only. Here we see the vSphere environment in v VMware Cloud on AWS. It's the same vCenter experience customers have learned to use in their on-premise SDDC installations. The base cluster configuration contains four hosts. Each host has four, 512 gigabytes of memory and contains two 18-core CPU sockets. Now let's take a look at the S4 HANA system. There are two virtual machines one with the HANA 2.0 database, the second virtual machine has the application server and SAP central services. Here we see the configuration of the HANA virtual machine. Now we see the details of the application server virtual machine. We now proceed to the Unix console of the HANA virtual machine. What we see here is a SAP HANA Studio an integrated development environment that enables technical users to manage SAP HANA. Expanding the menu on the left shows the S4 HANA schema. On the right, we can see that the SAP HANA database is up and running. Now we switch to a SAP GUI session. SAP GUI is SAP's universal client for accessing functionality in SAP applications. In the GUI, we start a SAP batch job. We then run a SAP transaction to monitor the status of the batch job. We see here that the job is active. In another transaction called SM50, we can see the different processes running on the application server. The batch job is active and executing on multiple processes in parallel. Each process is connected to the SAP HANA database. On the far right, we can see the actions on the database like read or update. Now let's look at the CPU utilization of the virtual machines. The SAP HANA virtual machine is at approximately 70% CPU. The application server machine virtual machine is at approximately 90% CPU. We will now manually start a live migration of the SAP HANA database virtual machine. We can see the progress of the vMotion task in the task area below. During the live migration across hosts, we, we want to verify that there is no impact to the active SAP batch job. We see the processes are still, act, still running in transaction SM50. As an extra check, we also confirm that the status of the batch job is still active in transaction SM37. Here we see that it's still active. We go back and we continue to monitor the processes until completion of the vMotion task. We see now that vMotion has completed. We now confirm in vCenter that the SAP HANA virtual machine is running on a different ESXi host. We also check the utilization of the application server virtual machine. It's still high as expected as it continues to process the batch job. 
We also conduct a final check of the SAP application server work processes back in transaction SM50 to show they are still active after the vMotion event. The successful migration has not impacted the running of the batch job and there have been no disconnections between the work processes and the SAP HANA database. In conclusion, this demo has successfully tested the vSphere vMotion feature with a S4 HANA system on v VMware Cloud on AWS. Customers can continue to experience the same agility in the cloud as their on-premise SDDC and can leverage their existing VMware SDDC tools and skill sets when deploying SAP systems on VMware Cloud on AWS. This has been part of a series of tests and experiments that VMware is conducting to demonstrate functionality of VMware Cloud on AWS with SAP NetWeaver and HANA-based applications. Thank you for your attention.